expressed to find the derivative of the given function. We have g of x equals the square of the quantity 2x plus 5. We have two options to find this derivative. We can square the quantity 2x plus 5 and then find the derivative using the power rule, or because g of x is a composite function, we can find the derivative using the chain rule. We will go ahead and go over both methods. Let's first square the quantity 2x plus 5. So g of x is equal to two factors of 2x plus 5. Multiplying, 2x times 2x is 4x squared, plus 2x times 5, which gives us plus 10x, and then plus 5 times 2x, giving us plus 10x, and then plus 5 times 5, giving us plus 25. Combining like terms, we have g of x equals 4x squared plus 20x plus 25. And now let's find the derivative of g in this form. g prime of x is equal to the derivative of 4x squared, which is 4 times 2x, plus the derivative of 20x, which is 20 times 1 or 20, plus the derivative of 25, which is zero. Simplifying, we have g prime of x is equal to 8x plus 20. And now let's find the derivative using the chain rule. Again, we apply the chain rule to find a derivative when we have a composite function, where in this case, the inner function is a linear function, 2x plus 5, and the outer function is the squaring function. Looking at the formulas on the right, the basic power rule states the derivative of x to the power of n with respect to x is n times x to the power of n minus 1. But if the base is not x, like in our case, we need to apply the chain rule, which is given here, where the derivative of u to the power of n with respect to x is equal to n times u to the power of n minus 1 times u prime. So u is going to be the inner function, which in our case is 2x plus 5. So we have u is equal to 2x plus 5. We're going to need to find u prime, which is du dx. u prime is the derivative of 2x plus 5 with respect to x, which is 2. So if we set the base of 2x plus 5 equal to u, we can now think of g of x as just u squared. And therefore, g prime of x is equal to 2 times u to the power of 1, or just 2u times u prime. Or in terms of x, we have 2 times u, which is the quantity 2x plus 5, times u prime, which is 2. Simplifying, 2 times 2 is 4, giving us 4 times the quantity 2x plus 5. If we distribute the 4, notice g prime of x is equal to 8x plus 20, which of course is the same derivative we found above by expanding and then determining the derivative. I hope you found this helpful.